UConn football took their high-powered offense to Dallas on Saturday for a matchup with the SMU Mustangs, but yet again, it was the Husky defense that prevented them from closing this one out. This was a back-and-forth game to start as UConn continued their trend of having a productive offense moving further and further away from the Bob Diaco era. Aaron McLean became the fourth Husky receiver to have over 100 receiving yards in a game, while quarterback Bryant Sheriffs had over 400 passing yards and two touchdowns himself. UConn kept things close heading into the fourth quarter as they trailed 28 to 20 before Bryant Sheriffs threw a 59-yard dime to Keon Dixon, who pranced into the end zone for the score. That was followed up by a leaping two-point conversion from Tyler Davis, tying the game up at 28. Dixon himself took us through his big play. Well, we knew we were going to run that play, you know, the way the corner was playing off outside leverage. We figured, you know, use the speed to get on the outside and then take advantage of, of his leverage. And we knew we were going to score. So coach just told me to hand the ball to the ref and just next play. But things fell apart for UConn from there. SMU scored touchdowns in quick succession and began to pile on the sacks, tallying eight of them in the game and preventing the Huskies from completing their comeback. This led to an unsightly final score of 49 to 28. Head coach Randy Edsel said the team has to work on finishing strong. That's where the competitors got to step up and say, okay, man, we got to put the pedal to the metal and just, you know, keep going and, and keep, uh, keep getting after, you know, and if we do that, we're going to be, we're going to be fine. UConn's next game will be at home on Friday against Memphis, where they will try to contain yet another high-powered offense. From Gerald J. Ford Stadium, I'm Brandon Carney, UC Sports.